All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lesson number 164, sentence starters, wanting someone to do something. This is present subjunctive verb number eight. I am so excited because quiero que, quieres que, quiere que, queremos que, quieren que. It is so often used in Spanish on a daily basis. Anytime you want someone to do something, okay, you say who does the wanting, and then you follow it with K, and then you say what it is that you want done. And that is in the verb number eight, opposite vowel, present subjunctive. Quiero que, I want, quieres que, you want, quiere que, he or she or you, usted want, queremos que, we want, and quieren que, they want, or you plural want. So when wanting someone to do something, we need to use the analogy of the tow vehicle, the trailer hitch, and the trailer. The tow vehicle is, in this case, the verb querer. The trailer hitch is always the word que, and the trailer will be any verb but put in the opposite vowel, present subjunctive form. Let's look at our key points. They're the same key points we have been mentioning many times. Number one, for the verb number eight, present subjunctive, the easiest way to select the correct verb conjugation is to take the usted command and use it as your base for the present subjunctive. The only exceptions are the nosotros forms of the E to IE and O to UE stem changing verbs as they do not stem change in the nosotros form. Point two, all present subjunctive conjugations are based on the usted command. Well, remember we have five irregular usted commands. There's vaya, este, de, sepa, and sea from the verb ir, estar, dar, saber, and ser. Vaya, este, de, sepa, and sea. All right, our infinitives, hacer to do, pensar to think, recoger to pick up, pagar to pay, ser to be, venir to come, llover to rain, llegar to arrive, conducir to drive, decir to say, escribir to write, explicar to explain, jugar to play, estar to be, prometer to promise, hacer frío to be cold, irse to take off, ahorrar to save, ver to see, comprar to buy, traer to bring, dar to give, sentarse to sit down, seguir to continue or to follow, disculparse to apologize, poner to put, and romper to break. Now, we're pretty much learning all the meanings of these verbs. Let's take a look at these verbs to see what type of verbs they are. Hacer is a go verb. Pensar is an IE stem change. Recoger is a G to J. Pagar is a car, gar, zar verb. Ser is a regular. Venir is a go verb. Llover is a O to UE verb. Llegar is a car, gar, zar verb. Conducir is a ZC verb. Middle column. Decir, go verb. Escribir is regular. Explicar is a car garzar. Jugar is a U to UE plus a car garzar. Estar is irregular. Prometer is regular. Hacer frío is a go verb. Irse is irregular. Ahorrar is regular. The last column, ver, well, we know it comes from veo, vea. Comprar is regular. Traer is a go verb. Dar is irregular. Sentarse is E to I E. Seguir is E to I. Disculparse is regular. Poner is a go verb. And romper is regular. Now, the irregular verbs in Spanish, there really are not that many. Okay? You hear them over and over again. And sooner or later, it gets to the point where, hey, that doesn't sound right. Probably wrong. Hey, that sounds right. Probably correct. Okay? <clears throat> We're giving you a lot of challenges here with these irregular and stem changing and go verbs and ZC verbs and G to J verbs and Cargarzar verbs, okay? We want to practice them a lot so that you learn them. All right, here we go with our examples. I want you to be there. Well, we know the verb estar is irregular. That irregular usted command is este. Remember, all your subjunctives are based on the usted command. In this case, it's este. What are Usted commands based on the present tense, yo form. So you've got a sto, it ends in a y. You can't change an o to an opposite vowel because y is not an o. So it's one of those five verbs in the present tense that don't end in o in the yo form. And they are 
um, boy, doy, soy, se, and estoy. None of those five ends in o. All right, our second example. They want us to help. Okay, so it's quieren que. Now we've got the trailer. It's got to go opposite vowel. Ayudar. Quieren que ayudemos. She wants me to come. We know venir is a go verb. Quiere que yo venga. Venga. All these end in opposite vowel. I want it to rain. Yo ver. It's a UE stem change. Quiero que llueva. Mom wants me to promise. Prometer is regular. Mamá quiere que yo prometa. Mamá quiere que yo prometa. They want us to drive. Now, there are two ways of saying to drive. There's conducir, which is a ZC verb, and that ZC will be present in all the subjunctives. And there's also manejar, which is a regular verb. We're going to go with conducir. It's more challenging. Quieren que conduzcamos. Very good. You can put the nosotros in there. It's not necessary. Quieren que nosotros conduzcamos. Do you want me to bring money? Traer. It's a go verb. Quieres que traiga dinero? I want her to give me the keys. Dar is irregular and it is de. So it's quiero que ella me de las llaves. De has an accent mark on the E. Why does it have an accent mark on the E? So that we know it's from the verb to give and not the preposition de with no accent mark that means of or from. How much do you want me to pay? Pagar is a cargarzar. We know in the subjunctive the cargarzar happens all the way through for all cargarzar verbs. How much do you want me to pay? ¿Cuánto quieres que yo pague? They want us to come. Venir is a go verb. Quieren que vengamos. Quieren que vengamos. Do you want me to pay you today? Cargarzar, again, cargarzar verbs happen all the way through in the subjunctive. So this would be, ¿Quieres que yo te pague hoy? ¿Quieres que yo te pague hoy? Dad wants me to pick him up. Recoger is a G to J verb. The J happens all the way through. Papá quiere que lo recoja. Or, Papá quiere que yo lo recoja. I want you to sit down. We know sentarse is an E to I E stem change verb. Quiero que te sientes. I want it to be cold. Hacer frío. We know hacer is a go verb. Quiero que haga frío. Do you want me to drive? Conducir is a ZC. Manejar is regular. Quieres que yo conduzca? Or, quieres que yo maneje? They want us to be friends. The verb ser. Ser is always a regular, pretty much, right? So we know it is sea. So we're just going to stretch out sea. Quieren que seamos amigos. I want you to continue. The verb seguir, we know it's E to I stem change. So it would be quiero que sigas, S-I-G-A-S with no U. Because a G is a hard G because it's followed by an A. Mom wants me to apologize. Disculparse, regular verb. Mamá quiere que me disculpe. Remember, all subjunctive and in opposite vowel. I want you to tell the truth. It's a go verb. Quiero que digas la verdad. She wants me to buy her a car. Comprar is regular. Quiere que yo le compre un carro. What you're buying is a car. The le means for her, like for mom. Quiere que yo le compre un carro. Mom wants me to explain it to you. What do we know about explicar? It's a car gars are verb. Mamá quiere que te lo explique. Remember when you have two pronouns together? It's a person first and then the object. Remember, if there's a fire in a house, you go in and get the people out first. Then you go back in, if possible, to get out the objects. Same thing with pronouns. If you have two pronouns together, either in front of a verb or on the end of something, it's always the person and then the object. I don't want you to break it. Romper, regular verb. No quiero que lo rompas. No quiero que lo rompas. I want you to see it. Well, we know that ver... The yo form in the present tense is beo. So you change that o to an a, your command's going to be bea. So we're going to take bea and stretch it out a little bit. I want you to see it. Quiero que lo veas. And I want you to take off. Once again, our buddy ir, we know it's going to be vaya. 
Quiero que te vayas with an S. And the last one, I don't want anything to happen to them. Pasar is to happen, regular verb. No quiero que nada les pase. Wow. Amazing, 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 amazing. I congratulate you. We're starting not just to be able to say these, but to understand. And so, if necessary, you're going to be able to create language. For sure. It's going to be easy. You're going to say, I want you to help me. Quiero que me ayudes. You're not going to say, quiero que me ayudas, like the present tense. No. Quiero que me ayudes. I want us to go. You're not going to say, quiero que vamos. You're going to say, quiero que vayamos. Again, anytime you use a present subjunctive sentence, your Spanish races from beginning, intermediate, to advanced. Using the subjunctive correctly puts you in the advanced level. Now, your rate of fluency will get faster and quicker and increase and grow over time. No doubt about it. All right, that'll do it for lesson number 164, a heavy lesson in the present subjunctive, verb number eight, but one that we understand completely and are very successful at. Okay, gracias por escuchar. Hasta la próxima lección. This is Professor Pablo signing off. Cambio fuera. <laughs>